good morning. It's November 9th, 2022, and I'm Kimberly from Fat Quarter Shop Floss Tube, and I have a lot of stuff to show you today. We have a new club by Lori Holt. We have two brand new patterns. We have my finish of Autumn Love and my start on two other pieces. We have several finishes by Denise and Cheryl, and we're gonna have a giveaway at the end, and it's gonna be super exciting. So we're gonna start off with the Chicken Club. So um, I'm gonna pop up an image of a quilt that you might be familiar with, but if you're not a quilter, you're only a cross-stitcher, you might not know. This is the Chicken Club. This was called the Chicken Salad Quilt. And so there's 12 chickens, and it's an applique quilt that Lori did as a sew-along um, last year or this year. And um, so we had a lot of requests to put this in a cross stitch, so we did. So I'm gonna show it to you. We're offering a club, and the club is a pattern club. So if you want to stitch this and get the pattern before everyone else, you will sign up for the pattern club. That ships from January to December of 2023, and there will be 12 different chickens and Lori's going to be finishing them. I'm going to talk a little bit about her finishing in a second, but she's going to do them all individually. There is not a setting to put them all together because that would be ginormous. So if you're a member of the club, you will get the pattern 10 days before it's released. It's a paper pattern. It's going to release around the fifth of each month. And I wanted to kind of show you how nice the pattern is because you can see how big the stitches are or how big the image is. So you'll be able to easily see it's on this really nice card stock paper and these are gonna be DMC and we give you the info with just the chicken or with the tag. So we're gonna show you what the, the name tag is. So you can stitch it with the chicken's name. So there are 12 different names and there's different stitch sizes for each. So um, with the name tag, they will be approximately 60 by 83. Without the name tag, they will be approximately 60 by 62. Um, all of these are being stitched by Colleen Holt of Stitching with the Sisterly. So thank you so much to her for doing all of our model stitching. And she's doing all 12 of them. And then I'm gonna talk a little bit about the other things that come with it. So Pattern Club, available. We have a thread pack available now that's enough to make all 12. It's a starter pack because obviously we haven't stitched all so there might be you know you might run short of a couple. We don't think you will but you might. Um, and this is available now. Now I will tell you because there's one color we're short on when this sells out we're not going to be able to make more for about a month and a half because one color of all of them is short. Um, Lori wants all of these stitched on barley 25 count so that is what we're stitching those on and of course this is designed by Lori Holt if I didn't say that already so just to be clear the club has pattern only the fabric now if you want to stitch it where there's two inches around each side you need four packages of the 25 count barley by Lori if you want three inches on each side, you need six packages. And you will have a little bit left over that you can actually use, just a tiny bit left over. Um, and um, that is what you need without the name tag, or with or without the name tag, actually. So thread is a separate purchase, fabric is a separate purchase, and I'm gonna show you some notions we're gonna have. We don't have the prototype because it's at Lori's house. So she wanted to do a gingham love thread bling. And so that is going to have the ring and the little heart charm. And these are the floss drops that are sold separately. So th those won't come with them, but that's what she's going to be stitching hers on with her DMC. And then the next thing is we're going to have a chicken club enamel needle minder both of those new notions will be arriving in December. So um, the chicken charts will be available in PDF. Six 
Oh, I think we're doing that in a year. I think we're doing that in a year. I think we're doing that where it'll be available in December of 2023. Uh, oh, and Lori says, good morning. And thank you to Kitten and Stitches for the super chat. She said, thank you for always being a ray of sunshine. Okay, so we've talked about fabric, thread, pattern. Now I'm gonna talk a little bit about the finishing and we're gonna zoom in just so you can see it. So on all of these, Lori bought 12 of these frames. The frame on Amazon is called Norfolk Distressed 8x8 Picture Frame with Matte. Um, and then she's gonna use a different fabric each time. This one is from her B Plaids fabric. She's gonna use um, different large vintage trim. This one is uh, T-Rose. And what she did is she um, used the back of the frame that came with it, and then she put her batting and fabric on that. Then she cut a five and a half inch square from matting and glued batting onto it. Then she laced her cross stitch around it. She has a video on lacing on her channel. And then she added four strips of the vintage trim separately and glued it down with Eileen's glue. And then to keep the fabric down, she just put Eileen's glue on the edge. So this is something we can look forward to in 2023. And um, when Lori decides what she's gonna stitch on, um, we'll let you know, because I'm not sure what she's gonna stitch on. So this is the chicken club based on chicken salad. So um, pretty funny names. And Kay Nella is funny. She said, so funny since Kimberly doesn't care for chickens. Oh no, I'm not stitching this, but I will say it's cute. It's really cute. And um, we've seen a couple of them they're really cute. And there is a little bit of back stitching right here, but it's very easy. And um, we will be showing you each month, like in January, we'll give you a preview for February, but right now we're only gonna show this one. But I can tell you um, that hopefully, um, I know they're all gonna be cute. And then I do know the frames are out of stock at Amazon. I would just encourage you to get an eight inch by eight inch frame. And you can pop this out and create your own backing and only buy one. But I think that we just bought 12 because for us, we're gonna eventually show all 12 together. So I think just a plain eight by eight frame would be fine. I'm sure you could get one at Michael's Hobby Lobby. Home goods. Um, she just wanted something wood distressed so that it would kind of be chickeny. You know, you can see that distressed. So, and a lot of you have signed up for it. So that's super exciting. Um, Cause I guess I'm the only one that doesn't like chickens. Sorry, that's just me being funny. Our next new pattern I'm super excited about. We've been working on this for two years actually. So this is called Cookie Cutter Ornaments, and this is the first time we've done an It's So Emma pattern in a booklet form. So it's actually um, stapled here, and there are 12 ornaments. I'm gonna show you all 12, and it's just one pattern. Now each of, the each of these has a stitch count of 28 by 28, so they finish on the 25 count barley, which is that same fabric that Lori used, that I just showed you. On that fabric, they finish about two and a quarter inches. And so we finish these in these new white tart tins that we um, are offering. And uh, I know they're gonna sell out again, but we will have more in December. And then we finished them on the sticky circles that are two and five eighths inches wide. And those are sold out, but they will be back in stock soon. I'm gonna put these out and then I'll start reading the rest of the. The end folks, just so I don't tell you wrong. So there are four with a background of green, four with a background of aqua, and then four with the red. And here we list for you DMC colors and classic color works. These were all stitched 
uh, by Denise on Classic Color Works. And she finished all of them. They look so cute. And right here, she used the Stitching with the Housewives ribbon. And it's the three quarter inch red ticking. Now this would also be cute with the black ribbon, I think. So um, this is an end of, I wanna show you kind of real fast. The pattern is so easy to read and I can flash that pattern since it is my company. So don't complain that I flash, sorry. So this is a barley 25 count and with one package you can make four pieces. So if you're gonna make all 12, you would need three packages. Um, or you can use, I mean, very little of the fabric shows. So if you have a white at home, I would just use white or, you know, you don't have to use the barley. Um, and then, like I said, we use the 2.64 inch sticky circles that are coming back in stock. And then we use the Tarte ornament package. And so these are the sticky circles. These are the smaller ones. Uh, we do have some that are by Priscilla and Chelsea, and those are larger. And then the tin comes with six, so you need two, six, you need two packages. And then we do have a thread pack, and I'm going to be stitching these as part of Jolly Housewives. No, I'm going to be stitching these in November. So um, I'm going to stitch mine on barley, and I'm going to stitch with the Classic Color Works. And what I think I'll do is to save time is i will do um the aqua all at once and probably what i'll do is i have them all cut already into squares but what i'm going to do is probably do all the aqua outlines and then all the white in all four and then the same thing green just to make it easy to like kind of mass produce it and so in my bag if you want to see what i kind of did is Denise cut all 12 of these for me. So I have them all ready to go. And um, she said they take about an hour and a half, maybe each. So I think they'll probably take me an hour and a half each. So that would be like 12 hours total, but really cute. And you can finish these um, with our tart tins. The reason this took two years is because we had to get the tart tins exactly right. And they come with this, this little wooden piece. So all you have to do is finish them so super cute the ornaments can be stitched on 14 count but um they would they will fit they'll be smaller so there would just be a bigger border they'd probably come in about right here if you're stitching with the name tag for each chicken you would just finish it in a rectangle frame yes and um you can find also just a wood piece too. Nothing is glued to the frame itself, so you can switch it out. Lori, do you want me to show them? Do you want me to open it and show them that? I wasn't sure if you wanted me to show that. If you do, I will. Is Lori listing the fabric that she's using as the backer on the pattern? Yes, so let me show you that pattern real quick. We list everything that she uses. So on this one, on all of the It's So Emma patterns, we give you stitch count, finished size, the cloth we used, the strands, everything about it. Now on the chicken club, we give you the DMC colors, all your stitch sizes with the name tag and without the name tag. And then down here, we give you the fabric she uses from her fabrics and the vintage trim. So everything is on the patterns. We try to make it very easy for you to um, replicate whatever we do. So, super excited. Chickens, ornaments. And now we have chickens, ornaments, and now we have text. Do, do, do. So we give you a lot of variety. Um, but what my plan on these, just so you guys know, is I'm going to make all of these. Denise is gonna do a video for our channel showing how to finish these. Like, just like, maybe not a video, but like a reel. Like something easy where you could just follow it on Instagram or something just to see. But what I'm gonna do is buy a mini um, Christmas tree. And we did do a video already on how to do sticky circles in this. So you could follow that. Um, the only thing she added was the bow, but we can do like a little reel of, cause she's gonna have to stitch, she's gonna have to finish mine anyway. So, she said yes. Oh, yes, open it, okay. Do, 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 sorry. 
These are so cute. I'm so excited. Okay, I'm going to show you. Oh, and thank you, Jordan. He opened the thing for me. Okay, so this is just a standard frame. And like I said, she glued down batting to this piece that comes with it. Glued the batting down. Then she placed the fabric down and just used glue right on the edge. So there's no glue right here. There's only glue right here. And she uses Eileen's glue or Aline's glue. I'm not sure how you say it. And then what she did again is she cut a five and a half inch square from matting glued batting onto the matting and then she laced her cross stitch and then she added four different strips of vintage trim so if you guys want i mean you could always ask her to do a tutorial on her channel um and because i'm not good at that but um really cute and yes all the fabrics will be listed all of the rickrack will be listed and we'll make sure to have all of that in stock and then you just pop it in and like I said, just use an eight inch frame. And then if you're gonna be using the name, you would just use a rectangular frame, like an eight by 10. And then all the samples that Colleen is doing for us, she's gonna do without the name. So our fourth in our series of holiday hallmarks is winter. And so I get to show it to you today. And like I said, on this one, we do list this fabric. This is a Riley Blake fabric, um, a Riley Blake shade fabric. It's called Santa. So on this one, I have stitched these. I'm going to show you all four of mine stitched at the end because one's at home, one's at the framer, one's here. Do you know what I mean? They're kind of all over the place. Um, so um, this, uh, I'm going to show you our previous and then talk about this one. So we had patriotic winter Halloween and autumn so on these we used all Riley Blake shades fabric and then we list on the pattern where we got the frame and um, so I've made all three of these, and so I'm gonna show you all four together, but these four are Cheryl's. Um, well, these four are our samples. So these four were not made by me. I think they were made by different people, but we'll keep these here. And um, I'm gonna show you up close kind of the pattern, but these are really easy. They take about 10, 10 hours maybe. I decided, I will say, I have a new thing. I'm not counting my stitches anymore because I have decided that I would rather um, just stitch. Um, but it was good while it lasted so that I could have a grip on what I was sewing. So this one right here is marbled white pine board, 14 count and you stitch it horizontal. So this way, I can't see it. The other way, sorry, it's hard to see. Um, that's what we did. And then the DMC colors are 304 and 3371, if you're using DMC. I'm going to use the elusive cast iron skillet that has not come back in stock in over 12 months at Fat Quarter Shop, even though I keep ordering it. Um, so I'm really sorry, guys. I would have picked a different thread if I knew that it would never come back in stock. And then I'm gonna use Schoolhouse Red. So um, I'm gonna stitch this during, I can't, November, yeah. So I'm gonna stitch, what I'm gonna do is I think this week I'm gonna stitch the top and then we'll take a photo, and then when I come back from vacation, I'll stitch this as um, the bottom. Um, the text color, if you made all four of them, I would do all four with the same text color. Um, and this will be fun to just do all the way across instead of one, two, three, four. I'm going to break it up into two this time just to make it faster. Okay, so now I'm going to answer questions because that is our new, our new patterns. Um, I am a beginner. What is the difference between the needles? Are they bigger or is the hole that is bigger? 
Each needle is made differently. So with a beginner, I would start with a size 26 needle. Um, I will give a little tease that I found some needles, finally. They were recommended by a customer. I have tested, I'm on like my eighth one that I've been testing. They're amazing. We're trying to get them in stock at Fat Quarter Shop. They're not made in the United States. They're made in the UK. I'll give you that hint. So when they arrive, I will start telling you about them. Also, I just started using them yesterday, so I also need time to like make sure I still like them before I tell you I like them. But I did find a needle, so I am so thankful. Oh my goodness. And I'm gonna get to show Lori. I'm going to visit Lori on Sunday, so I'll get to show her the needles. And we, on the needle minder, um, it's, is it on the coming soon page? Yeah, it's on the coming soon page, so just click to be notified when it comes in. The same thing with the ring, just click to be notified. What would be the closest to barley and 14 count? Um, beautiful beige would be a little bit darker. Lamb's wool would be very similar. If you're stitching on a higher count, like 36 or 40, you could use a six inch frame. Yes, and you can also use the Fat Quarter Shop cross stitch calculator and put those stitch counts I gave you in there and that will give you um, different uh, different options. And the feed sack 14 count Ada would be the best closest. So there's your answer, 14 count feed sack. What is the gingerbread man behind you? Down there. That is a quilt that I made like three or four years ago designed by Lori. Yeah, that was a little free, uh, free sew along she had on her blog. Okay, so now we're going to show you Barn Sweet Barn, which we started in January. So now we're on November. We took the center of Lori's Fleet Market Basket. Uh, nope, not, Jan not John James. Nope. It's something I've never heard of before. So it's, I can tell you it's not on our site right now. So these are the Barn Sweet Barn colors. 3777. 3862, 728, 922, and 3347. And um, this is the buttermilk 10 count. We still have that in stock. The daisy 10 count is now sold out, but the buttermilk we have plenty of. Um, and this one we finished on a 141 design barn and stained it and i think we've already given information on the stain color and everything and so we're going to be um, finishing this one up and then we'll show you in january all 12 together and we'll show this version and then the version with the target dollar spot so that'll be fun something to do in january and i'll show you mine at the end of the month da, 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 da. this is the big reveal okay i got it done i love it oh my gosh so i get to take this with me with some other pieces to Lori's house and we're i'm gonna get them framed which i'll show you in a second um but i really kind of got behind so i should have been done by november 1st but i wasn't so I decided on the top row to stitch a little bit differently. So the first thing I did was I stitched all my frames. And then after I, I forgot to take a photo. So I stitched all my frames and then I stitched all the light green and dark green. And then I stitched like the browns. And, um, like the browns, the green, you know, then you can see I just start filling in the colors. So I kind of went color by color. And I did end up with these two done first. Yeah, so I kind of started with this one and just did the colors throughout. I did the orange last. Um, but definitely I would love for you to look and see if I have any mistakes. If I do, I can fix them before I go. And um, I'm going to get mine framed at the framer that Lori uses. So I'm excited about that. And then I'm going to show you some other pieces that I'm also taking with me. So um, 
This one is Autumn Love by Lori Holt. Flea Market Baskets by Lori Holt. Vintage Housewives by Lori Holt. Oh my gosh, my arms want to fall off. I love, this one's so cute, even though it's totally not me. And then Fall on the Farm by Little House Needleworks. So I'm going to take all four of these to get framed at Lori's uh, Framer. And what I'm going to do, one thing I'm going to do, the way I'm going to take it on the plane is uh, we're going to go to Michael's and get a tube or find a tube here. We might have one. I'm going to roll it up. I'm going to roll it like this, put it in the tube and take it in my suitcase so that, uh, you know, nothing spills on it. I'm also going to, before I put it in the tube, put it in a, like a plastic bag and um, I'm too afraid to ship it, but I'm also too afraid to just throw it in my suitcase. So I'm gonna put this in plastic, then put it in a tube, and then when I get to Lori's house, we'll um, re-iron them. But of course, they'll be, um, you know, kind of already ironed. And then I'm gonna answer Beverly's question. She said, if your frames come with glass, what do you do with the glass that comes with the frame? Asking for a friend. I don't know the answer because I actually use the glass. Um, I don't know what you would do. Maybe, I don't want to say throw it in the trash because y'all will bash me. I don't know. I really don't know what you do with it. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe put it in recycling. Glass is recycling. I don't know. Okay, so now I have a tease for you guys. So for all of you that are in the Stitch Card Club by Lori Holt, This is what is going to be stitch shipping in late December. So these are at the printer right now. So you get a tease of what's coming in December. And who, who stitched these? Cheryl, these look so good. Okay, these right here are stitched on Prim 25 Count Lugana. And if you remember, we used Prim on um, flea market baskets, I think, or no, we used it on Prim Village. So um, it's kind of sampler-ish, really cute. And this is the first time she did like a little back stitch within the outer border. And you can sign up for the Be In My Bonnet Stitch Card Club to get the patterns as soon as it come in. And they, um, Uh, we'll go online like 10 days after the club members get it. Oh, Lori says I just should just put them between two designs board and put it in my suitcase. I don't know. My suitcase is pretty small. I'm bringing like a tiny suitcase. I don't know. My piece might be bigger than my suitcase. Okay. So that is a tease. Oh, these are so cute. And we are going to be doing a stitch card uh, so along in 2023. It's not going to start in January, but it's going to be a little bit later in 2023. Because I haven't stitched them yet, so we have to schedule it so I can stitch it. Okay, this is the fourth in the series by Summer House Stitch Works. So I've done the first three, and this is the last one. And um, this is Fiber on a Whim. I'm not sure what color it is. I forgot. And then I stitch column one and two. And then what I'm thinking is, I'll have to look in my book to see what color. Do you know what color it is? The fabric. It just says Ada by Fiber on a Whim. And I can't remember what color it is. Oh, Espresso 14 Count Ada. That's why it was on a sentence. So Espresso 14 Count Ada. So these are my previous two, and then my third one is at the framer. And so when I when I did, oh no, it's not, it's here. Okay, see, I don't even know. I don't even know where my stuff is. And I fell in love with this at Needlework Market. So these are my first three. And then the only one that I, I wish I would have done this darker 
and then this is going to be my fourth one and i just kept all the dmc colors the same and then what i'm going to do before i go to Lori's, there are six some of them have five some have six you know different uh color switches so i'm going to do two more columns and then when i get back i'll finish and the stitch card club all the information is on our site but it stitches every quarter ships every quarter um, and you get four stitch cards with each so i got that done and um i think my two favorite will definitely be the winter and the autumn because they really stand out my colors i should have done darker here and darker on the green but i think i'm gonna kind of put these i think i'm gonna frame them at work and put all four together with some space between them and that is by summer house stitch works and I'm really liking at first when I started stitching on hand dyed fabric I didn't like it it was too loose but now I'm really kind of getting used to it and so I'm starting to really like it so that's um and on the cookie cutter ornaments we're stitching two strands over two threads okay so I know you guys probably thought I forgot about this but I haven't this is the year of celebration continues season two by hands on design and this one is the one that I have my own thread color pack. And in that thread color pack, I'll kind of show you what we follow. So I started this in July. So each month I do one. So I did finish October. I mean, I might've done it in November, but it's okay. So when you get the thread pack, it comes with this and it tells you how to convert, you know, from Diane's to ours with all the information here. So I got this done yesterday, actually. I started it and finished it yesterday, I think, or the day before. I can't even remember. And then I'm gonna try to do November and December before Jolly Housewife starts. And um, Kathy, sorry, it's Kathy's pattern. Not Diane, sorry. Um, and the border I stitched in Tropical Paradise. And what fabric is this? 25 count prim. Yeah, that's the prim I was thinking of. So this is Lori's 25 count. And um, we do have a DMC equivalent on the blog for our thread pack. And the DMC equivalent to Kathy's are also in her pattern. Um, but the thread pack we're selling is Classic Color Works. So I'm going to do November and December, which look like this before. Let's see, November, December. December is my favorite one because it's these little houses. Um, the turkey is probably my least favorite because I'm scared of turkeys and chickens. Um, so, got that done. And then wreath swap, I finished one and I started another. So thank you to Denise for finishing. This is my November. And this one, the last time I showed you, I had stitched the turkey the wrong color. I was really stressed out that week. So I started December, I actually started this yesterday. So I will probably be able to finish this today. And then from that, I will have all of these done, except I didn't do this one because I don't really decorate with witches. So then, and then what I'm gonna do in, in January is like, I'm stitching them each by the month. I'm just doing this one a little bit early first. I wanted to, since I already have the piece, I wanna be able to, finish it and then display it in my home for Christmas. And now we're gonna move to Cheryl Stitching. She got a lot done. This is Halloween at Hawk Run Hollow by Carriage House Sampling. And y'all did ask for us to carry all of the Hawk Run Hollows, so we do have all of them in stock. So she stitches this on the 31st of each month. So she's got this one done. This is 20 count vintage country mocha called for DMC and one strand. Um, yeah, turkeys, I don't like turkeys, they chase you. I don't like anything that, I don't know. Maybe I like a cow, I'll pet a cow. So she'll probably finish this uh, I bet by June next year she'll finish it. And she's definitely going to frame it. And look at that stitching on the back. 
And then Coco Cafe, it's actually Little House Needleworks is our pattern of the month for cross stitch. So it's 20% off all month. So if there's any Little House Needleworks patterns you want to get, now is the time because we only put them on sale once a year. Um, this is Coco Cafe. And then Cheryl stitched this on Cafe Olay, 32 count by Fiber on a Whim. And I think it's hilarious because she just stitches right here and she has all this bulk. And I do see a question about um, the rubber eyes magnets holding the rolled fabric. Uh, what are they called? I can't find them. So we sold out, but we are currently coloring another one. And once we get that coloring, they're called cloth bitties. We will have them in stock. So we'll kind of speed that up. So super cute. Coco Cafe, cinnamon rolls, pastries, cookies, donuts, muffins, cakes, and pies. Oh, and she even left on the the tag so she knew what it was. So she got that finished. She just started that too. And then Pansy Patch Quilts, we've shown it to you uh, last year, I think. So this is Faith Ball at Pansy Patch Manor. So we showed you this when she started it. It's been quite a while. So this is 32 Count Lugana from Cheryl Stash. She used called for floss, and she's gonna take it to the framer tomorrow. So it's really pretty. And then on this one, sometimes she hides her initials in here, and I don't see her initials. I don't think she hid them in here. Sometimes she does. And look at that variegation, that looks really nice. I wonder if that's two, oh, it's not two, I wonder if it's two colors or if it's variegation. Hmm, I don't know. And then the Prairie Schooler. This is Thankful by Stitching. This is November by Prairie Schooler. So this one, I think we showed it to you stitched, but not finished. So she just got this back from Hobby Lobby, which is where she framed it. She stitched on 32 count cream Belfast linen called for DMC. And so I think it's great to see these because you can see she left more space here than they did. And they used a black frame and she used a brown frame. And this one does not have glass on it. Usually she puts glass on it. So she must have not put glass for some reason. And then it's got the alphabet in here if you didn't see that. It's really pretty. And then, oh, Cheryl stitched this one. I didn't even know she stitched this one. This is Thankful What's in My Cup by Stitching with the Housewives. And this one she stitched on 32 count charcoal Lugana and called for floss. And then she just has a wood pumpkin that she got. Uh, I don't know where she got it. And it has like a little wire leaf. And then I think she glued this down. Super cute. And then we're gonna move to Denise's. Denise has a finish, it's so cute. I bet all of you wanna make it now. It's called Rudolph Sampler. And, ta-da! Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Jordan actually helped frame it too. So Jordan and Denise did this one. So um, this is Rudolph Sampler by Little House Needleworks. Uh, Denise stitched, she likes to stitch on 32 count. This is color platinum. She used all the called for floss. She bought the frame this week at Hobby Lobby, so it should be in stock, 5744933. And uh, this one, she has her initials. Uh, this is her and her mom's initials. And then this is her sister and her dad's initials. And so she just added those and just, I mean, she just like freeformed it, like backstitched it. There isn't an alphabet for it. And I'll show you. This is uh, Chelsea's Checks. And it looks like this, so you can find it in the store. And then she started stitching Greetings from the North Pole by Little House Needleworks. 
Oh my gosh, so cute. And she's stitching this time. She usually doesn't stitch on 14 count, but this is 14 count vintage country mocha. She's using the called for floss. And it obviously the pattern, it's folded over because the pattern is rectangular. It's gonna be really cute. I haven't seen this one stitched up in person, so I cannot wait to see it stitching. I can't wait to see it stitched. So that's Denise's. And then Noelle is working on spookography. And she kind of has this done. So she's stitching on 14 count white Ada by Witchell. She's using a uh, called for DMC and she is stitching in an 11 inch Q snap. And she's a brand new stitcher. So now I'm gonna show you some flash sale items and talk about our sales. So I already talked about Little House Needleworks. Um, I'll show you some of their patterns in a second, but this is our flash sale of today. So our flash sale is just that day only, 60% off the Glitter Village set of patterns. So all nine patterns. And Jordan made me bring this to show because I didn't finish it, but I had to bring it. He, he guilted me into bringing it. So I am going to finish it somehow, some way. I just kind of got stuck because the fabric is so hard to see the holes. But um, I am going to finish it. But if you want to make it, this is a called for fabric, called for floss. I didn't make any changes. I love it. I cannot wait to finish it. But at the same time, I cannot wait to not finish it because I just got too frustrated with it. Uh, but I, it's definitely on the list to get finished. And thank you to Jordan for making me look at it again. And then we have one floss that's on sale today. It's the mint dinner mint from Cottage Garden Threads. And uh, so those are our flash sales. And then for the month, all Little House Needlework is on sale 20% off for the month. And basically the way it works is if it's in stock, it's on sale. If it comes in, if it's not in stock, um, we do have it on order. And so this is the one that I just showed you finished. This is the one I just showed you finished. I finished this one. This one's actually at the framer. And then I haven't seen these two finished yet. And then new, what we have new is, uh, this is now available as a PDF. This is Tea Time and it was one of our stitch quarterlies, but it's now available as a PDF. It's really pretty. And this I think was stitched on plat mushroom 28 count Lugana. And then we got some new, uh, we have a new product that we made. These are called uh, Jolly Tags. So we made them in gray blue and red and we made them so that I can start putting them on the bags because we have so many things going I couldn't figure out what was what and um, so they come with one piece of paper inside and then you can just draw on them so these are now in stock and then when you clip it it's really easy it just clips right on we made sure it had a big lobster claw claw so that it would stick. So yeah, now I'm gonna be able to stay a little bit more organized. We will have a Black Friday sale this year. Um, we always have one. Okay, this is new. This came out last week and I wasn't able to show you. So this is Reindeer Ride. So cute. I did. I somehow missed this. I didn't even know we had it on site on 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 our site, and I saw it last yesterday on social media, and I was like, "Where did that come from?" So I somehow missed this one. So there's City Christmas one. City Christmas two is going to come out this Friday, and in this one, if you haven't watched their video, just like they did with Halloween, where they did the letters. It has the letters so it's got like it's gonna spell Christmas so on this side is the letters this side is the pattern so there's gonna be four city Christmases that come out on Fridays and she's gonna do the same thing where she puts it in the frame just like this so and she's going backwards but this is just like she did the Halloween and this is the same board she did uh, 
they did uh, Home is Where the Wreath Is. And then uh, Santa's Tree Farm came out last Wednesday. And then Mrs. Claus Bakery came out this morning. And these are the ones that she, they're using their three and a half inch sticky circles on. So, and there's gonna be four of these. They're gonna come out on Wednesdays. They are still gonna have the tear tray tidbits, but for December, they're just gonna have roundabouts just to kind of change it up. And then I'm gonna put these two here. This one is gonna be part of my Jolly Housewives, which I'm gonna talk about in a little bit. And this one also is, this is Let's Go Write a Book, Winter Woods. Oh no, this one's not, the Christmas one is. So these two came in stock this week. I can't wait to make this one. And there is a question in chat that I was gonna answer. Anytime I stitch on black fabric for stitching with the Housewives patterns, I always stitch on 14 count chalkboard black. Okay, so now I was gonna show you a year in the woods. I'm going to show it to you backwards. So this has been super popular and I did want to let you know that Cottage Garden Samplings came out with the Snowman series and we will be selling that series individually. There will be 12 patterns. All the information is on her Instagram and we will sell them. We're not doing a club on that one, but we're selling them individually. But these have been crazy popular. So reindeer, beaver, little brown bat that one's scary to me the woodpecker the woodpecker could peck I don't even know the barn owl the bald eagle the bear the ferret it's gonna get you the raccoon the jackrabbit the swans and the fox so we have all of these individually, and now we have them as a pattern set, and we will keep them as a set. Keep selling them as individually and as a set. Okay, and now, now that Nutcracker Village has, I didn't bring this one, but I am in the middle of this one too but I'm gonna finish Glitter Village first. But now we have a Nutcracker, now that all nine have come out on Nutcracker Village, we have a set. So you can buy them individually or as a set, and these are by Country Cottage Needleworks. I'm gonna show all of them to you. The paper's really nice, because it's, they're sticking to, this one's stuck together. So there's 10. Oh, it'd help if I looked at what I was doing. Actually, there's 12. They're stuck together. No, there's 11. 11, sorry. So you can get that as a set or individually. And then this arrived yesterday. This is uh, Hill Country, Hilltop Cross Stitch Club by Pine Mountain Designs. And she has 12 of these. So we just got December in. We're going to order enough to do a set of all 12. I actually need to remember to do that today. So somebody remind me. How many whips do I have? Oh, about 30 right now. We just planned uh, what I'm going to be stitching November, December, and next year. So it might be more than 30. Okay. So uh, now what we're going to do is we're going to take an intermission. And in this video, we're going to show you how to make a wish list at the back corner shop. So watch this video to see how to make a wish list. And then I'm gonna show you some of my favorite things from the holiday gift guide for cross stitch. How to make a wish list at back quarter shop. Wish lists are an easy way to save items you want in the future or send them to friends and family. Here's how to use them. First, sign into your back quarter shop account. Click my wish list in the top right corner. You can create up to five wish lists. Click create new wish list. Then give it a name you'll remember. To add an item to your wish list from the item page, click the caret icon to the right of add to wish list. Choose the wish list you want the item to be saved to. 
or to add an item from the product search page, click Add to Wishlist. The item will be added to the first wishlist you created. To move or copy items to another wishlist, click the checkbox next to the item. Then click Move or Copy Selected to Wishlist and choose which list to move or copy it to. To leave a comment on an item, hover over it, add your comment, then click Update Wishlist to save. To share your wishlist, click Share Wishlist, then type the email addresses to send it to, write an optional message, and click Share Wishlist. Finally, to add all your items in a wishlist to your shopping cart, click Add All to Cart. Happy shopping! How to make a wishlist at Fat Quarter Shop. Wishlists are an easy way to save items you want in the future or send them to friends and family. Here's how to use them. First, sign into your Fat Quarter Shop account. Click My Wishlist in the top right corner. You can create up to five wishlists. Click Create New Wishlist, then give it a name you'll remember. To add an item to your wishlist from the item page, click the caret icon to the right of Add to Wishlist. Choose the wishlist you want the item to be saved to. Or to add an item from the product search page, click Add to Wishlist. The item will be added to the first wishlist you created. To move or copy items to another wishlist, Click the checkbox next to the item, then click Move or Copy Selected to Wishlist and choose which list to move or copy it to. To leave a comment on an item, hover over it, add your comment, then click Update Wishlist to save. To share your wishlist, click Share Wishlist, then type the email addresses to send it to, write an optional message, and click Share Wishlist. Finally, to add all your items in a wishlist to your shopping cart, click Add All to Cart. Happy shopping! Yay! So thank you to Jocelyn for doing the voiceover for that video. Um, but now I'm going to show you the holiday gift guide. We do it every year and we do one for quilting and one for cross stitch. And I just pick the things that I use the most. Um, so this year, what I've been using the most are the stitch card boxes. There's three colors and I have, uh, the stitch cards in one. And then in another, I have fabrics in there. So I've got like the Lori fabrics fit really good. And then in another one, I just put some quilt fabric. So that'd be fun, like if you go to a retreat and you can even divide it by color. If you go to a retreat, it's a great way to like just throw some stuff in. So that is one item on my list. The other thing that I use so much is I use this and maybe Ashley could take a photo and show in the community tab, but I have six of these in my office with fancy floss. And there's nine compartments in each. It's an acrylic box and um, it's really pretty in my office, so I love that. And then this is exclusive to Fat Quarter Shop. It was kind of hard to make, took a long time, but really nice quality. And then it also would fit, um, DMC not so great, but it's great for Aura Floss or Fancy Floss. And then the project bags, of course, are my favorite because I use them all the time. I use the gray a lot too, but this, these are our newer colors. Uh, this is Misty. Misty's the center, Bluebell, and then Peony. And these are our Mad for Plaid bags. And then um, we'll have, we'll just come out with new colors like maybe once a year. And then the other thing I use the most, you guys will know because I have, can I see all five of them? I actually was working on them this morning. And so I can actually show you how crazy I am with using these. Um, it's really the only way I can stay organized. Um, so, these are the ones that I have going right now. If you want to know how many whips I have, I have four books going. Uh, one is my sew-alongs, like 
Stitchtober, that kind of thing. One is book one, one is book two, and one is book 2023. It got started this morning. So I use these like crazy. And then on there, I also picked some fabrics. And the fabrics that I picked are the ones that you see the most on the floss tube because I use chalkboard black all the time. And um, so I just picked some, this is the Lori Holt fabric. So I just picked some fabrics that I use a lot on floss tube. And you could link to this to your family if you wanted to. But then these are the scissors. I have like 30 pair or sweet snips. You can always ask for a gift certificate or, you know, use our floss videos. But that's just a couple of the things that are on the stitch guide. I just wanted to show them to you. And then I'm going to move some stuff off. And if you want to see the holiday gift guide for quilting, I'll show some of that on Friday. I don't show all of it because that would take forever. I think the video, we had everything for this, but the video would be too long. And um, we are having a giveaway on our blog right now to see how you can win some of these. So to enter, you're gonna wanna go to the Jolly Jabber blog to see all of that so you can enter. And then I'm gonna do a giveaway in a second. I'm gonna answer questions also, but I wanted to do some announcements. So next Wednesday, I will be at Lori Holt's house. So I'm going to be launching a Jolly Housewives. Uh, we're going to launch it, talk about what I'm stitching, what they're stitching, all their new patterns. It's going to be a trunk show with Priscilla and Chelsea. That's going to be next Wednesday. Um, it's going to be a premiere video, but I will be in chat. And then you're going to want to make sure this Monday you check the What's New page. There's a reason why to go along with that. And then the we I will be live on November 30th. I will not be live the week of Thanksgiving because it's Thanksgiving. Um, so next week will be Priscilla and Chelsea. The week after will be skipped and then I will be back November 30th. And on November 30th, I'm gonna be talking about all the things I stitched in the month of November, which when I started, it's gonna be like 10 things that I stitched. Um, I will have progress on a year of celebrations, hopefully November, December. Definitely November. Um, wreath Swap December, I'm gonna try to finish that today. Frosty Typeface, which is um, the second in the Typeface series. Autumn Provides, I'll have that finished. Uh, winter Holiday Hallmarks, that one I'll start and finish. And then I will have Cookie Cutter Ornaments. I'll have at least four of them done. Um, so I'm gonna answer questions before we do the giveaway. Um, I don't know when Pop of Winter will be available yet. Um, I know we just recently, the newest one was Pop of Autumn, but I haven't seen that one yet, but we will get it. On Fall on the Farm, did I change any colors? Yes, I did, and all of that, we did a blog post with all of my color changes. And Little House will be on sale through November 30th. And um, the way it works is if something sells out, I reorder it immediately, but if it doesn't come back in until December, it's not on sale then, if that makes sense, but I reorder that every day. Um, a needle minder club, that's a great idea. Um, I don't know if we could add it right now, but that's a great idea. The Glitter Village that's on sale, there's something other than Beautiful Beige 14 count. I like something higher count, but not linen. I think that Platinum Lugano would look nice. And the light that I use, I use two different lights. So I use Halo Go in the car. And then at work, I now have this set up. And at home, I have it. It's called Omega 3.5 Magnifier. So I use that at home. And, uh, and of course, if you guys have any questions ever, just pop them in the chat so we can answer them. And today, our giveaway is, we're going to give away three of these pattern sets. And they're actually booklets. So we're gonna give away three of these and to enter what you have to have to answer two questions. Out of all the ornaments, which is your favorite? And out of all the cookies that you make for Christmas, which one do you make or which cookie is your favorite? Um, I will miss you guys because I won't be here for a while, but you can always chat with me on social media and I hope all of you have a wonderful Thanksgiving and I will see you soon.